Have you ever wondered what it really takes for a country to safeguard its waters in today's era of high-tech naval warfare? How does a modern navy balance speed, stealth, and firepower in a single vessel that can respond to a wide range of threats? These are the questions that come to mind when we take a closer look at the BRP Antonio Luna FF-151, one of the pride and most modern assets of the Philippine Navy. This warship isn't just a floating fortress, it represents a turning point for the Philippines as it seeks to strengthen its maritime defense and maintain stability in contested waters. With tensions rising across different seas in the region, the Antonio Luna is more than just a ship, it's a symbol of security, deterrence, and progress for the nation's armed forces. The BRP Antonio Luna, which is the second Jose Rizal-class guided missile frigate, was built by Hyundai Heavy Industries in South Korea, and every line of its design reflects a careful blend of modern naval engineering and adaptability. At over 107 meters long, 14 meters wide, and with a displacement of roughly 2,600 tons at full load, it may not be the largest warship in the world, but it is tailored precisely to the needs of the Philippine Navy. Its size strikes the perfect balance between carrying enough armament to pack a punch while remaining agile enough to operate effectively in both shallow coastal waters and deeper seas. This adaptability is critical, especially for a nation like the Philippines, which has to cover vast maritime zones that include both busy sea lanes and remote territorial waters. What makes the Antonio Luna so impressive is not just its appearance but the advanced systems hidden within. At first glance, the ship's sleek and clean profile makes it look like something out of a futuristic naval fleet. That smooth exterior is more than just aesthetic, it's designed with stealth in mind, meaning the ship is harder to detect by enemy radar. In naval combat, being less visible to your opponent gives you an undeniable edge, allowing you to strike first or maneuver away from potential danger before being noticed. But what about firepower? The BRP Antonio Luna is equipped with a formidable set of weapons that make it capable of taking on air, surface, and even undersea threats. At the heart of its arsenal is the 76mm main gun mounted on the bow, capable of firing at both sea and aerial targets with high precision. The ship also carries anti-ship missiles, surface-to-air missile systems, and torpedo launchers, ensuring it can defend itself from multiple kinds of attacks. Additionally, its close-in weapon systems and secondary guns provide layered defense against fast-moving threats like aircraft, drones, or incoming missiles. To put it simply, this isn't a ship that relies on one weapon, it's a floating arsenal designed to handle threats from almost every angle. Another key highlight is the frigate's sensor and radar suite. The Antonio Luna uses advanced combat management systems that integrate radar, sonar, and electronic warfare capabilities into one network. This allows the ship to detect, track, and respond to threats in real time. Think of it as the ship's brain, constantly scanning the skies, seas, and below the surface for danger. This level of situational awareness is what turns a warship into a true guardian, capable of making split-second decisions in fast-moving situations. Performance-wise, the Antonio Luna is powered by a combined diesel and diesel CODAD, propulsion system, giving it the ability to reach speeds of over 25 knots, which is about 46 kilometers per hour. While this may not sound fast compared to cars or aircraft, it is very respectable for a vessel of this size, allowing it to keep up with both patrol duties and rapid response missions. Its endurance is equally impressive, with the capability to stay at sea for extended periods, something that matters when patrolling distant waters or participating in international naval exercises. Beyond combat and performance, the ship's design also reflects a human touch. The interior includes improved accommodations for the crew, providing better living conditions compared to older ships in the Philippine fleet. These details may not grab headlines, but they matter in real-world operations, where sailors may spend weeks or months on board. A more comfortable crew is a more efficient and focused crew, which directly contributes to mission success. Another fascinating aspect of the BRP Antonio Luna is its versatility. It isn't limited to combat operations, the ship can also perform humanitarian missions, disaster response, and search and rescue operations. This multi-role capability is essential for the Philippines, a country that faces not only maritime security challenges but also frequent natural disasters like typhoons and earthquakes. 
The same systems that help it detect enemy submarines can also assist in locating distressed vessels, and its ability to carry helicopters enhances its reach and flexibility in emergencies. Looking at its role in the bigger picture, the BRP Antonio Luna represents more than just steel and technology, it embodies the modernization path of the Philippine Navy. For decades, the Navy relied heavily on aging ships handed down from other countries, but with the acquisition of new frigates like Antonio Luna, it is stepping into the modern era. This shift is about more than just national pride, it is about ensuring maritime security in a region where competition and disputes are intensifying. For allies and potential adversaries alike, the presence of a ship like this sends a clear message, the Philippines is prepared to defend its waters. The question then becomes, how will this ship shape the future of the Philippine Navy? Will the Antonio Luna and its sister ship